the three little pigs. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an old so with three little pigs, and as they had, she not, had, she had not enough to keep them. The set, the set, she, she set, sent, she sent them out to seek, seek to seek the fortune, fortune, fortune. That. that when off met a man with a balloon bundle with a bundle of straw and said to him, "Please, man, give me that straw to build me a house." Which the man did, and the little pig built a house with it. Please, the presently presently come. Along, came, came along a wolf and knocked at the door and said, "Little pig, little pig, let me in." No, let me come in. Let me come in. To which the pig answered, "No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in." Said the wolf. So the so he. the so he huffed and he puffed and he blew blew and he blew his house in and oint ate and ate up the little pig. The second pig met a man with a blilled bundle bundle of frizzy. Furs. Furs, and said, "Please, man, give me that furs to build a house." Which the man did, and the pig built his house. Then along came 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 a wolf, came the wolf, and said, "Little pig, little pig, let me come in." No, no! By the hair of my chinny chin chin, then I'll huff, and then then I will puff, and I will huff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed, and he puffed and he huffed it, and at last he blew, blew, he blew the house down. And ate up the second little pig. The third little pig met a man with a lot load, with a load of bricks, and said, "Please, man, give me that bricks to build a house with." So the man gave him gave him gave him the bricks, and he built. His house with them, so the wolf came as he did to the other little pigs and says, "Little pig, little pig, let me come in." No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Well, the well he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and. He puffed it, and he huff, and he puffed it, and he huffed it, but he could not get the house down. Then he found when when he found that he could not, with all the huffing and puffing, blow the house down. He said, "Little pig, I know where there is a nice." Field of trip turnips of turnips. Well, said the little pig. Oh, in this doors, sniffs, sniffs, 
home field, and if you will be ready tomorrow morning, I will call for you, and we will go together and get some for dinner. Very well," said the little pig. And we'll be ready. What time do you mean to go? Oh, at six o'clock. He's gonna go without him.、Mm-hmm. Don't go without him. Well, the little pig got up at five and got a torn ups and was home again before six. Then he. Then the, when? when the wolf came, he said, "Little pig, are you ready?" "Ready," said the little pig. "I have been and come back again. I got a nice pot full of dinner." Felt very hungry, angry, angry at this, but thought that he would be up to the little pig. Somehow, all、uh, idle, so he said, "Little pig, I knew, I know, I know. Well, there is a nice apple tree." Where?、Well, said the pig. Down. At Mary Garden," replied the wolf. "And if you will not deface, deceive, deceive me, I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow, and we will go together and get some apples." Will the little pig look at four and six morning for the next for the next morning? And bustled, bustled up, and bustled up, and went up for the apples, hoping to get, hoping, hoping to get back before the wolf came. But he had farther, farther to go, and had to climb the tree. So that just as he was coming down from it, he saw the wolf coming. Watch as which, he, which. As you may suppose, for frightened. frightened him very much. Then the wolf, when when the wolf come up came. came up, he said, "Little pig, what are you doing before me? What are you here? Why, why are you here before me? I the nice apples." Yes, very," said the little pig. "I will draw you down one," and he drew, drew. it. And he drew it so far that once the while and that while the wolf was gone to pick it up, the little pig jumped down and ran home. The next day, the wolf. Came again and said to the little pig, "Little pig, there is a field in the town. Town in the town this afternoon. Will you go?" "Oh yes," said the pig. "I will go. What time shall you be ready?" "At three," said the wolf. So the little pig went off the full. The time, as usual, and got to the fair. He and brought a bedel torn, and was on his way home with it when he saw the wolf coming. Then he could not tell what to do, so he got into the torn to hide and. And in doing so, turned it, it around, and it began to roll and roared down the hill with the pig 
inside, it would frighten the wolf so much that he ran home without going to the fair. He went to the little pig's house and told him how frightened he had been by a great round thing which came down the hill past him. Then the little pig said, "Hop, ha, ha! I frightened you, did I? I had been to the fair and brought a better." Torn, and when I saw you, I got into it and rolled down the hill. Then the wolf was very angry and said, "Indeed, indeed," and decided, declared, and declared he would eat up the little pig, and that he would get down the chimney after him. When the little pig saw when what what he was about, he hung on the pot full of water and made up a blazing fire. And just as the wolf was coming down, took off the cover of the pot. And in fell the wolf, and the little pig put on the cover again. On in 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 just an instant, instant, boiled, boiled, boiled him up, and ate him for supper, and and lived happy after all. Ever after. Ever after.